So that's how it broke down on Saturday in the Dome uh, against Western Illinois last weekend. Uh, Coach, uh, the UNI Panthers offensive drive that was threatening the end zone, looked like UNI was going to score. Western Illinois able to take that 92 interception back for, uh, for six points, really set the tone for that football game and, and changed things in favor of the Leathernecks. I did. It was our first drive. We drive down inside to score and they flipped it, flip it and make a 14 point swing of it. So yeah, it did set the tone for the whole first half and we never got dug out from it. Outside of that drive, the offense uh, seemed like they struggled to kind of find their rhythm that first half. They did, they weren't, they weren't in sync. A little bit what Western did, a little bit we, what we did to ourselves. So, and since we couldn't get that tempo going, you know, you, you had a, a offense that wasn't consistent. Talk about uh, some things that, uh, some adjustments, I guess, that were made as you go to uh, Aaron Bailey there in the second half. Yeah, we, we uh, Aaron came out in the second half, and there's 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 a little difference in what you what you play and how you play it. But uh, I thought he did a good job. I thought he'd get loose a couple more times than what he did, and then he threw the late intercept as well. So intercepts have really hurt us right now. You know, when all these games are so close, those turnovers make a difference. And turnovers were a big difference. The UNI defense able to come up with one. DeAndre Hall, another pick six for him. His fourth career, now a UNI record holder uh, in that category. A big momentum shift in UNI's favor to start that second half. Oh, I thought that would swing it because we needed to make something happen. We did do that, got the touchdown on top of it. And then I thought we needed to do something on special teams. We pinned them uh, two or three times inside the five, which was big. But we were looking also to score somehow on special teams. Impressed with DeAndre, I mean, he's doing it with one hand. He's close to getting that cast off. <laughs> and, you know, he'll, he's, he's, a, he's a special player, and think about when he's got two hands, but right now he really has to focus when that ball comes in because he's only got one hand to work with. Coach, how pleased were you with the defense? Uh, second half, really, really tough, only gave up three points. Uh, first half, did give up a couple scoring drives, but evaluating the defense. Well, in the first half, you know, we, we got the, the, there was two penalties that enhanced and, and kind of self-inflicted wounds to us to allow drives to continue. So we gave him, gave him second life in the first half. Second half, you know, I thought we did a very good job of adjusting at halftime and then, and then getting us back in the game through defense. But uh, it doesn't matter what side this all works out on. It's a team deal. So that's why, you know, defense is an opportunity to win on special teams and defense. They get two thirds of the game. Offense has to, has to take care of the other third. So it's, it's a unit, it's a team. We've got to find a way. And big picture, looking to win five in a row to make the playoffs. Uh, the team did it a year ago, but that doesn't mean it's easy. No, it's not easy, and they'll be done a different way this year. I mean, last last year was a great thing. I think we did it a few years back as well. The 2005 team had to make a run. You got to get hot, and this is a game of momentum. And right now, coming off that early part of the schedule, we didn't have much momentum, and now we're trying to create it. So you just have to really lock in and be be really sharp and really focused to be able to turn things around. So, you know, I don't, I don't. I believe it can be done. It's just a matter with this team, it will be done differently than years past. All right, and it starts on Saturday with South Dakota State. We'll have more with Coach Farley on that game coming up later here in Panther Sports Talk.